Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. Game 1 is about to start in this Concentrate Kid Raft and we have a pretty slow hand. I, I always hate drafting those aggressive decks with like 8 2 drops and then see this hand that doesn't have one. If I had a deck with like 2 2 drops or 3 I would be very happy with this hand but now I'll keep it but feeling pretty sad. What is good is that we have the white land right off the start, so if we ever draw Pawn Back Brigade, things is good. Alright, Murderous Cat is not bad. We will curve out with Morph Prowler or Morph War Shrieker, depends. Parapet, right? There's a war name Aspirant. A few turns too late. Go Morph. So we can go attack, play War Shrieker, War name Aspirant. I think that's pretty good. It would block, that's fine. Ah, that was a fair trade. I will do this because uh, Warning Mesperant can't be blocked by uh, the parapet. So next turn I can still play Summit Prowler if I want to. I can play Murderous Cat, maybe Sultai Scavenger. Alright, it's a good card. So we can hard cast a murderous cut and attack. Doesn't get me very far though. I could play scavenger. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. He can start the attacks and my opponent can't really attack back because I will crack back for more as long as he doesn't have Rakshasa's secret I'm feeling pretty good okay no blocks nineteen when did he lose life oh he fetched right it's a pretty good card to draw here, I'd say. Unfortunately, that's the only thing I get to do, but... Oh well. Unless one of my creatures dies. I'm gonna slam with everything here. Yep. I could have played... Uh, Summit Prowler instead and just attacked with uh, I guess I still could have attacked with everything uh, but then I would trade and debilitating injuries probably running out of targets no <laughs> obviously not should I kill the morph or should I should I not kill the morph? Let's see, I attack, he trades with my more name Aspirant and just blocks the War Shrieker. I get him for three. Yeah, I think that's fine. And if it doesn't block with a morph, then I know I should kill it. Okay. And if he has like a combat trick, that's fine. Oh, interesting. Now I think I'll play land and summit prowler. Because it just happens to be pretty good against the hooting mandrills. 
<coughs> and if one of my creatures dies, I can play Murderous Cut. So that's also pretty good. Another morph. He sure has a lot of morphs. I will block. Because it can't get too bad for me. He can't even have become immense. Can I awaken the bear? Alright. That's fine. Do I wait with this? I think so. Ugh, that's bad. I'd really like to draw something non land ish at some point. Now I will have to kill the Hooting Mandrels for sure. And I will also have to block the morph to force something. Ah, I see. That went well for me then. So I hear him down to 4, he hits me down to 6. Then I will have to trade for his Heir of the Wilds. Then I hit him down to 1, he hit me down to 5, unless he has something. What would I like to draw? Arrowstorm would be a pretty decent draw. My Warshrieker is not doing anything anyway, so... Alright. That's fine. I uh, might as well morph him. Maybe it will lure out something. Because he's not getting through the parapet. Oh no, he drew blue. Alright, that's fine. So he needs to find a pretty good removal spell here. Alright. <laughs> pretty good cards. Alright, that went well. I don't think there's anything I really want. Maybe... I think my deck is pretty well set up against his. I'll try it one more time as it is. And obviously he was missing blue mana but that's kind of the thing with three color decks. If you don't have a ton of duels and even then it's it's pretty likely to get screwed. But for me that is playing a two color deck it's fine. Too bad that we drew the white mana when we didn't draw, draw any white spells. Alright, I can get behind this. We can play an aggressive 2 drop if he doesn't play uh, a 1 or, or 2 drop. It looks like he is. No, right. That makes me very inclined to play Horde Ambusher on turn 2. Yep, probably doing that. If he kills it, that's fine. Can't do anything about it. Hopefully it doesn't play like a 2-3 or something. Morph. I'd gladly attack into a morph. And we'll play a swan, play a skull hunter. Slam discarding a land, which is fine. I mean, you do need lands in this format, so I'm not too sad about that. So, what morphs did we see? We saw the flock, the four five, the elephant, 
and I assume that there is an abomination hiding somewhere. Do you attack? No. It's passing. Interesting. Well, I will attack. Can't get too wrecked here. Crippling chew? Alright. I will bash and actually play the perfect card. Because next time we can flip it, which will probably be pretty good. We can uh, play Aerostorm if we want to. And we have two big cards coming shortly. Necropolis Fiend is pretty stuck in the hand, but when everything is traded off and jumped away, he will be decent. Ah, oh, that's not good for me. Is this an elephant? Oh, it's a Delve card. Treasure Cruise? Mandrills, sure. And an Invocation. Pretty big turn for my opponent there. So how do I do this? I can just arrow storm down the mandrills. Or I can play or I can flip this. I think I'd rather arrow storm storm down the mandrills. And then I can take four, that's fine. Untap and play scavenger or untap and unmorph the pony back brigade. That card is pretty good right now. Yeah, that wasn't any fantastic cards there. So I can still do that. I can still flip this. Yeah, I think it's fine to pass here. It's not the most mana efficient turn, but almost. And I'm pretty sure that he has uh, Awaken the Bear. Uh, maybe I'm not looking at that. I don't think that this would be a trade, but if it is, it's good. Oh, it is. That's pretty good for me. Another morph. Right. Could we draw a debilitating injury? No, we'll add. Uh, then we can play Leaping Master and Necropolis Fiend. Or a Celtai Scavenger, I mean. We unfortunately have to delve one, but. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can play the Necropolis Fiend next turn. But then it won't have much Delve food left. But we can probably arrange that. So we have 5 Power of Flyers, which is pretty good. If we don't Delve up uh, or Delve in the Necropolis Fiend. So I'm pretty sure if I double, or if I block both, the one will die. Ah, I see. One, two, three, four. 
I will just block that. He could still have awakened the bear. Or become immense or something. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I think I need to play my Necropolis Fiend so I can kill the Mystic. bad we only have one card left in the yard but I think I can arrange for more unless I can kill my necropolis fiend of course force away oh well that sucks Can't imagine him attacking now. Oh, really? Oh, he has five mana. So, this is probably the four five. So, which one do I want to kill? A four five or the two five? I have to trade away everything for that. That's not good. I can block everything on that, but then I take seven and I'm dead next turn. All right. Yeah. Another leaping master. I will play that and I will play a morph. Can I attack? Say so attack for three, then I have to jump. What am I doing otherwise? Double blocking. Sacking my morph or my leaping master, probably the morph. Hmm. Three down to nine, then I untap. I can attack for five. So if I draw, no, I can't draw an arrow storm either. I can draw an arc trail, that would be pretty nice. Yeah, I don't think I can attack. It's not worth throwing away a creature for for get for three damage, I don't think. Now I might get to throw away a creature anyway, but in a better way. Am I dead? No? So we can draw debilitating injuries, arrow storms, arc trails. But not that. Don't think that's enough. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not. Uh, might as well pass and see what he does. Maybe he shows me another card. It stinks to die against the two toughness creature when I have like ten spells that I can that can kill it. Right, that's good to know. Yep, I'm dead. Alright. Do I want dead drop? Maybe it's better than Acropolis Fiend in this matchup. Maybe I want bitter revelation. Drawing some cards. Uh, I, th I still think my deck is good as it is. Yeah, this hand will do. 
So I'll start off with an ambusher and then bone cane and then arc lightning. And then flip bone cane. Uh oh. That is not good for me. I think I'll just cast this face down instead because if he has a morph, I would rather trade this for it. And if he just plays something I can't attack into, I can flip this up, showing Arc Lightning, unfortunately, but oh well. Hmm. Just kill that. Yeah, I think so. Let's see where it is. Ooh. If you're starting with that, can't have that many morphs left. Hopefully. Secret plants plus morphs stops my two twos pretty well. They don't stop my scavenger or bonkin though. So let's see what you got. I imagine he would have started with like... Uh, the wall or something. Yeah. Now this will be a turn. I could save the war shrieker for my morph. Five. Let's see. I have five. I can play this, and I have one, four. Yeah, then I can just morph that. All right, that's fine. So now he gets to trigger Sultai Ascendancy, but now he's very far behind on the board. If I draw a red creature, this game is almost over. Yeah, it is over. It doesn't want the stalker. But it wanted the other card. Yeah, a red spell and I'm... This game is done. Let's place two creatures. Even if it does play two creatures, I think I'm in pretty good shape. Sure. Ha. That is game. You can fuck. And you will flip. And we will win. Mana screw. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. It is. I mean, you're playing three colors with secret plans and stuff, then you kind of get mana screwed sometimes. Thanks for watching, guys. I bring you game two as soon as possible.